Becky from Alliance is joining me for a quick interview. You guys are yet undefeated. You haven't been defeated during the group stages. You haven't been defeated here at the main event. Are you guys scared that once you actually start to drop a game, uh, something similar to what happened last year to LGD is going to happen to you guys? Well, not really. I mean, all of the teams that are left are really, really good. So I wouldn't be surprised. Like, we, d we, uh, we uh, did lose one game versus uh, DK. Uh, so we actually already lost the game, so it's fine. Uh, but it like a lot of pressure went away, you know, when you win all of the games and then you just keep on winning. You always like wonder when the, when the game is going to come, when you're going to lose. But as I said, like all of the teams that are left here is so good. So I wasn't really su surprised when the series went to 2-1. To, to so how would you describe your play style so far? I mean, so far it's been working out great for you guys. You've been really stomping through your group stages. And also here you've been showing a flawless performance. But what do you think sets your play style so much apart from everyone else? Why do they struggle so much to actually beat you? Uh, I think one of the reasons is that that Bulldog is playing so damn well with his like uh, the uh, Furion and the Scylla Bear. So it makes it really hard for the opponents to uh, draft. Uh, when they try to ban out him, there's always like maybe Bat right left or Wisp or whatever, which makes us like get a really good uh, draft that uh, we like to, uh, to play. Uh, and our play style is a bit like more split push uh, compared to the Shinies teams, who is more about five man. And I think we handle five men like a bit better than maybe the other teams, which makes us being able to beat the Chinese teams. Do you feel like your strategies are more based off on the single people playing, like S4 and Bulldog? Do you think that the whole strategy more revolves around the single individual in your team rather than what the whole team is doing? I think the whole team is important. Like the thing is that if they focus a lot on maybe Loda, then it gives out room for Bulldog and uh, S4. And if they focus on the mid lane, which like a lot of teams do, they end up being like three or four guys mid. Then it leaves room for the other players. So I think it's just a really good team per performance. All right. Well, thanks a lot for joining me. And of course, good luck in the tournament. Thank you. I got Poppy from Navi joining me here for a quick interview. I would really like to know uh, now after watching all those games throughout the tournament so far, it really looked like you guys are putting a lot of emphasis on your mid lane in the early game and helping Dandy out. Do you think that a game can be won solemnly through the mid lane or do you guys actually put your focus somewhere entirely else? Uh, it can be, but maybe only 5% of the games. Mid lane is uh, used to get more levels and get more gold on a hero that needs it the most in uh, mid game stages so he can go around and do stuff uh, for the team, it it really is for the team, like the butcher middle. It's not really there to uh, to win the game. It's just to help his team, you know, create chaos or something like that. And that's pretty much what uh, S4 does for his team. Also, he picks his bat rider, gets his blink, and doesn't care anymore. He's gonna create chaos on the map. He's gonna help out his teammates much more. Loda and Bulldog, in that regard. All right, well, I let you go. You guys just have been playing an amazing game, and I guess you're still pretty hyped up about that. Oh, so, yeah. yeah, some some words to that game. What what were your thoughts? Last game, I, I didn't know that Fountain is such a good team player, but it's a, pretty, it's a pretty good team player. I gotta agree. <laughs> well, thanks a lot for joining me for the interview, and of course, good luck in the tournament.